Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And there may be a link to another video <laughs> under this video. This is, um, I love the sky on this, and I love the colors in the ocean, but it's been sitting around for a while and it's kind of bugging me a little bit. And since I did this a long time ago, I've discovered Floetrol swiping, and I'm strongly considering putting some Prussian blue right across the center. and probably a few other places and using some other colors and thinking that I'm probably just going to let some of the background show through and I'm hoping that that's going to work because I just did it on another kind of swipe and it did work. I'm going to throw a little purple in there and a little turquoise also. I'm, I'm not putting an excessive amount of paint in. Certainly not enough to cover it perfectly well. I'm thinking maybe some white would be good in there also. I hope I'm right. And a little Venetian blue. If you guys ever have questions about a color I used, please feel free to ask me. So I've got a swipe card and some flow troll. And I'm going to start by blending this down. And I might want to blend it up too. I might want to just get rid of that paint right down there. Grab some more Floetrol. It didn't occur to me I might like it without doing much of anything to it, but that could happen. What I want to experiment with is how it looks to go across. And I think I'm going to take all of that paint that was on my card and let it flow right down over the edge so it matches on both sides. And then I'm just going to keep going with the color that I've got on there. Go down lower. And I've learned that I can use the edge of my card if I like it. And I also think I can go both vertically and horizontally I'm going to scrape that card off. I could use it on the edge. I'm going to come back up here and notice whatever I like that I don't have enough of. Like that lighter colored turquoise was nice. So a lot of things are not showing through, but I think I might still like it better anyway. I see that there is something in there. Looks like a sweater fuzz, but it's probably a dog hair. So, what do I like? I like that. I want some more of this. That was the good thing about, that's not open. That was the good thing about starting with less paint. I have some nice iridescent, some blue that's beautiful. This is a perfect time to experiment. Let's put a bunch more of that purple in there. Just keep knocking off the color on the edge, touching up the canvas, and using it on the other edge too. Noticing that I have a fingerprint over here, so I'm going to give myself permission to just keep adding colors because I want to. I really wanted some of that island blue from Anita's, but can't always have what I want. the other way because I see I've got some waves poking up above my horizon line. There, I don't mind that. I could probably put some white in the foreground and make myself some waves if I wanted to. 
Just going to keep wiping off that card until it's evenly dispersed around the bottom and then stick my fingers right in it. And now I am covered. Except for that one little spot I missed. So I'm going to try that with the white. I'm really inclined to use the um, Amsterdam white. And a straw and see what happens. I did get a straw out. I have another one. I also have an airbrush and skewers. I do have some cute little cells. I think I'm going to go ahead and with my airbrush. So that looks like waves on rocks and I think we need a little bit more to make that work out. And maybe all the places It's a little risky. You gotta be really careful about how high up you go. I like this airbrush. I should figure out who make, makes it because I can actually manipulate pretty well. She said as she messed something up right in front of you. The air pressure, I was gonna say. mess with this area above the waves so they look a little more like waves if that's even a thing there I kind of like that I'm definitely not complaining but the one thing I do want is the color I couldn't have and I'm going to put it right below that Prussian blue that makes the horizon line so very dark. And there's nothing, you don't need any background to do this. Did I get it? I don't know. I certainly could have used the, um, the lighter blue too, but I want, I want to try this. sort of kind of didn't work but I also think I have a skewer that's clean over here and I like to use the edge of my spatula if the skewer doesn't work but the skewer usually works and it adds some lines that make it look more like water too not that this the spatula wouldn't I should probably even show you that I'm thinking my, my sun is a nice orange color, but it might be something I want more if it were a fireball. I'm going to let that color go all the way up as best I can. Not that I don't actually think the Prussian blue is inclined to swallow everything in its path. And I could put another line of blue at the horizon line and pull it down. That looks like there's a reef out there or a, um, a break. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I got nothing 
That's been telling me I can't. Except for the fact that the paint's not coming out very cleanly. I don't think that's going to make any difference in a moment. Yeah, that island blue, I like that island blue for water, for tropical water especially. And I like the striations, the lines. I can even scrape off my excess and let it fall right over. So do I want to do anything to the sky? I'll show that to you guys. I might. I've, I didn't have any hot orchid back when I did this. And I'm inclined to use some hot orchid and some Anita's white metallic. And maybe clean off my card so there is no chance of anything strange getting in there. I hope. Nice and dry. A little more Floetrol. Oh, I have blue, blue in my Floetrol. Okay, well. I don't think I'm going to mind what this does at all. I think I'm going to like it quite a bit, actually. Putting the pink into the white, because I know it won't mix completely, but it'll mix a little bit. That could even be a pink cloud. I could even, if I wanted to, use the airbrush again, or you could use a straw. I'm liking that. All of that. I've got some colors. I've got some slightly muddy colors that aren't making me happy. I'm going to grab the orange. That's in the painting. Yeah, good. Okay, so what else do I want to do? I just want to give myself permission. Ha! And this is some Anita's White Metallic with some pink in it, which is an alternative to the combination I was using a moment ago. And I'm really tempted to say that I might put some... Oh, well, you know what? I want Floetrol in there. Yeah, the, um, it was cute, but this is a little more realistic and a lot more fun for me. I'm going to use my paint, my residuals to go over the edge, and my finger to push some over and scrape some off. This might actually sell to a friend. Some friends of ours are coming soon to look to buy a seascape. And I think this might be a really good candidate because I'm really liking it a lot. And I will work hard to find that other link. So do look under the video for either parts one or part, part... This might be two, it might be three. In any case, it is what it is. And I still want to play with the, uh, with the clouds. But I need something in the background to make them... Huh. So if I put a little Floetrol down where my clouds are... Does that mean that I can take my white enamel, excuse me, not enamel, white Anita's, I think I'm going to let myself have a little bit of pink right there also. I know it was the, um, the Amsterdam white that was working the best. You know what? I'm thinking my fingers are a really good, good tool right now. A lot less messing around with the airbrush. And it just leaves me with wanting a cloud right here. And 
and a little more right down there. This way I get exactly what I want, except for when I stick my finger in by accident. All right, so I'm much happier with that. Overall, it's, uh, it's much more charming, and I have an island on my horizon, and I think I ought to do something about it. Which is just increase it in size until it looks like a volcano. And call it all good. That's pretty neat. Do I want anything else? I kind of do. I just need a dry skewer. I have little spots of yellow throughout this. I'm not sure I like that. So I guess I'm good, and I'll tell you guys that I have two minutes to tell you. I do sell my artwork, and my email address is the way to reach me, and my email address is directly under the link tree. The link tree contains Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my face links to my Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes, and more will take you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com and share with you some of the 14 or more hundred items that I have placed there. It's really important that if you guys are interested in supporting the studio that you decide to go shopping um, and check out my stuff. You don't have to buy anything, but check it out, see what happens. Teespring clothing below the video is also mine. And uh, if you shop the Amazon link, it's at no idea cost to you and it helps me out eventually. I have over 91,000 subscribers, but uh, it's not really easy right now. Something strange is happening as it has it right along and I don't have very many views. So if you get a chance and you want to be of, of assistance, please, by all means, share my videos wherever you can and give me a thumbs up if possible. Watch them longer. That's a big assistance to me. New Seascape from an old. And uh, I like this one better, <laughs> I gotta say. The other one was too kitschy for me. So what else should I tell you about? I have over 1,800 videos. Uh, and you can find them on my YouTube channel. Um, hmm. Community board it will show you tomorrow's video. My 1800 videos are organized by the 100 and by topic and genre. If you are interested in joining us in the monthly drawing, there are paintings to be won for those of you who contribute through PayPal or Patreon. If you have questions, please feel free to ask me. My paint pouring recipe is below the video, and I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, so that means that if it dries heavy, it doesn't crack. Um, what else should I tell you God? I don't know. I don't see it over there. All right. If I've forgotten something, please forgive me. I told you I sell my artwork. Oh, I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida also. So hope to see you tomorrow. I post every day at 3.15 right now and also on the weekends at 10 p.m. as well. So share, 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 and maybe you can keep my channel alive because nobody else is trying at YouTube. Thank you very much for being here. I love you guys. I love inspiring you and you inspire me back wonderfully. So take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Priscilla out. You can find the, you can find the PayPal and Patreon icons on my YouTube channel banner bottom right hand corner and the, and the links on the link tree. Bye for now. Sorry about that. Forgot it. Bye.